So the video I've got for you today is a bit of an advert, um, although not really. It's a way of showing some different uh, ways of putting puppets together, particularly heads, because that's what I've got a lot of here. I've just moved workshops, and so obviously during the move process you have to pack everything and uh, sort everything and things like that. So I've been through my box of bits and these are heads and other parts that I've carved over the years. Sometimes while I've been teaching, sometimes I've been demonstrating carving and that sort of thing. Um, or they might be uh, puppets that I started work on and then got sidetracked and never got around to finishing. So I thought what I'd do is actually put some of these up for sale. They won't be expensive, uh, but they rather than just sit in a box and have nothing done to them, people might be interested in buying them to turn into puppets or at least see the carving structure or have a go at you know, tidying up or, or finishing the carving in a lot of these cases that needs doing. So the first one we've got for you here is a sort of king character. I mean he's mostly finished in terms of carving. Um, actually started to do a little bit of colouring on his hair and beard. He's got a neck attached so we would have to... you could detach that I suppose and if you wanted a separate neck piece or you or you just um, create into the body of the puppet some fixing point for that could be a cord, could be a hook eye or something like that on there. So this one is... let's have a look... He's so from the bottom of his beard to the top of his crown is uh, what's that? So it's twelve centimeters, just under five inches, four and four and a half, four and three quarter inches, and across ways he's six centimeters, two and nearly two and a half inches, probably two and a half at the widest point. I quite like the style of this one. It's quite sort of puppety, quite blocky. There's a little bit of tidying up needs to be done around the back and maybe on the crown there you could do a bit more a bit more work could be could be done on there. Uh, so that's the first one. Let's put him to the side. Well I won't say the prices because I haven't decided but I'll put these up on the website um, companyofmarionettes.com. I'll link it down below and you can go and see all the, the parts that uh, that I've got. Um, let's have a look at another one. So we've got a small chappy here. Not quite sure what he's supposed to be. Um, there's no neck on this one, so you'd have to attach a separate neck piece to the back. Uh, have a separate neck piece there. Uh, again, he's mm, you know 90 90 percent finished. Uh, not not much to do there. On that one, quite a nice little head for some grumpy character. That one is three and a half inches, nine centimeters tall, and its widest is seven centimeters, it's nearly three inches. That's from the tip of the nose to the back of the head. So that's number two. What else have we got here? Let's have a look. Right, this one is a. This one's pretty much finished. In even in terms of painting, I've, he's actually got some holes for in his head there for stringing. Um, could put a hook in there for stringing him up. And there's a hole through the bottom of the head there, so you'd you'd want a, a neck piece come up and then pin through the back here onto a loop of some sort. So. You create a um, like I've got. You need a bigger version of, of the Pinocchio that I was making here. So you just put a loop on top of the neck piece, and then you can pin through from the back. Catch that pin, and that gives you quite a nice little rotation move there. Um, you could repaint him. He's very basically painted. Um, and that one is. 
so three and a half inches wide, 90 centimeters maybe, uh, nine centimeters rather, 90 millimeters, and uh, about four inches tall, 10 centimeters, and about nine, eight and a half centimeters deep, nearly three and a half inches deep. So that's number three, but going with number three is number four, and then there's a sort of girly character. Um, again, pretty much finished, painted. It's got a hole up through the bottom there, so the same deal. Put a put a loop through, pin through. Uh, so a couple of um, a pair, a good pair of characters there. They could go together, make a nice pair. Obviously, they would turn into fairly large puppets. It's quite a big, quite a big head. Um, let's do the sizes on that. Should be much the same. So yeah, maybe nine, nine and a half centimeters by ten centimeters, four inches. Ten centimeters, four inches. So. Nice little puppet pair of heads there. Those, I think, those two are the most finished ones I've got. Um, what else have we got here? Here's a sort of carved wizardy character head. Um, sort of got a neck piece attached here, but that could be removed if you wanted to. It's got quite a pointy beard. This was carved a very long time ago. Um, We'll need some tidying up, maybe some sanding, or some uh, recarving, maybe a little bit on there. But you know, again, sort of eighty percent, maybe ninety percent of the way finished. Um, Thirteen centimeters, five inches tall, uh, seven centimeters wide. Two and two and two and three quarters, and eight centimeters, just over three inches deep there. So there's a wizard, or well, it could be anything, sort of like a wizardy-looking character. Uh, what we got next? Here's a clown. Again, most of the way finished. Still on a on a holding piece here, which could you could turn into his neck, but that was a fixing piece for carving. Again, could do with a bit of tidying up, maybe. Some round there for the hair. You could attach some material hair if you didn't want to use that piece there. Again, I've probably demonstrated some painting techniques or something on that one. I think, it's, again, it was carved quite a long time ago. It's been one of the ones sitting around in the box. Um, seven, seven centimetres. Uh, just over four inches, ten centimeters that way. The same, ten centimeters, four inches that way. Yeah, might make quite a nice puppet. Okay, so also I have a pair of hands here and arms or forearms at least. These. Obviously a matching pair. They've got a rotation point at the wrist there, so you've got a little bit of rotation there, forwards and backwards. Uh, they are most of the way there in terms of carving. They're quite, you know, they've got a bit of expression to the hands, they're not flat. There's a tiny little nick out of there, out of this finger here, which I'll just put a little bit of filler in just now. Um, it's not it's only quite small, and if you were painting or something like that, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't show. But just as worth that worth noting, um, they've also got the uh, uh, ready for a joint there at the at the um, elbow, so ready to go. Again, needs a little bit of tidying up, but pretty much ready to go there. Uh, so there's those. They are size wise. The hands themselves are, well, it depends how you measure it, but seven centimetres, two and three quarters from the end of that finger to the to the wrist there. Um, 
about three three centimeters there from that to the edge of the thumb and the forearms are from the wrist back to the point of the elbow there about 75 uh, 7.5 centimeters 75 millimeters three inches so from the tip of the finger there to the to the elbow there 15 just over 15 centimeters just over six inches so it might be useful to someone making a puppet there you can got a pair of carved hands a bit of expression okay. so next up is this big fellow here he's uh, obviously was going to be some sort of goblin-y character uh, it would, it's going to make a very big carved puppet um, it head is in two parts, well it's three parts actually because we've got a separate piece here to make an opening mouth which would have to pivot back here somewhere to do that um, but the head's main head is in two sections and it's screwed through from the back so once you've finished doing your whatever's going to go on in there you'd screw that back together um, that's because I planned I expect to put some either moving eyes or a blinking eye mechanism in there so obviously you need a hollow head for that uh, but also just for the size of it uh, it's probably going to hollow out the head to keep the weight down um, so you probably want to think about that because it's fairly weighty as is but there's still obviously a lot of carving a lot of wood has got to come off that for carving so this one's pretty big um, tip of his nose to the back is 16 centimeters six and a half inches something like that um, height wise we're looking at 13 centimeters five and a just nearly five and a quarter and widths well widths including the ears there is 14 centimeters wide so five and a half inches something like that on the width um, so no neck piece with that, you'd have to create a neck piece in there, um, but as a sort of blank it would be, you could make a nice puppet out of that one I think. Right, what else have we got here? Where's a small, just a small female character, hole underneath again to fix through from the back with a pin. Um, so that would be would obviously going to make quite a small character there. I um, think I'd cut out pieces to make like pigtails maybe coming out there on that part. So it would be separate piece. Um, so six, six and a half centimeters, six centimeters six centimeters so two and a quarter ish sort of various dimensions um what else have we got we've got this one he is a not sure what character this is something i was experimenting with as well uh, it's a two-piece head um the pieces behind the hairline i think i was thinking i could make um, interchangeable faces so having two uh, one character with two or three different faces and so to make it them be able to be changed quickly um, there's magnets in there so you'd have to obviously create another piece exactly like that and uh, with a different expression or a different face on and then it locates in there um, Yes, again, quite a big, big head. Um, five inches, twelve and a half centimeters. Ten centimeters, four inches that way. Uh, sort of three inches, some eighty cent, eight centimeters that way. Um, yeah, it needs quite a lot of carving back. It needs more three D structure to that. It needs more taking away off there. Um, but yeah, might be worth 
something to someone for a few pounds um, and they can do something with that. Uh, what else have we got? I think, oh there's one more, I've got oh, a couple more here. Um, this one's a very odd one. It's a present. Um, <laughs> made the, this was something I was doing as a commission for someone. Um, and I ended up making two. So it's, uh, yeah, it's like a present with a face on. Hole through the bottom. Again, so you can see, I've actually got a pin in there. So you'd need a neck piece coming up there. I mean, this one is super weird. I don't know why anyone would want that, but there we go. Um, that one, I can do the sizes on that one, is... Uh, what are we on that? So, nine, three and a half inches. Um, ten centimetres, four inches that way. Um, nine... Three and a half. Yeah. So there we go. It's might need a little bit of touch up on the paint here and there, but I don't know. Someone might want it, you never know. Um we got Frankenstein type character with a moving mouth. The moving mouth actually operates through a, a little steel rod here at the top so it's not got a huge amount of movement on that one. Um, but I don't know, might be of interest to someone. That's the neck, so you'd have to figure out some way of, of attaching that on there. Um, we have got on this one, his ear to ear is about seven and a half centimetres, eight centimetres, so three inches, three inches more or less, and then nine centimetres, three and a half on the height from the jaw to the top of his hair there. So, again, I don't know. Some mum might be interested. And what have we got? Finally, finally, we've got this one, which is not wood at all. It's actually a hard foam. Um, needs a little bit of filler on his nose. Um, you can see how light it is. Um, needs a wig, some hair of some sort on there. Neck would attach up here, so you'd need a neck with a with a loop that, that you can attach through this loop here, or a, or a way of tying on with string up through there. Um, but if you wanted to build a biggish puppet with not much weight, this is very light. It's still it's a hard foam, but it's solid. So you could you could still carve this, so you could carve more detail, or you could change the shape of the face slightly if you wanted to. There's a little dent in the nose there, so that would need a little bit of filler. Um, but uh, you, as I say, you could reshape this. It's it's uh, yeah, perfectly doable. Um, this one is. So nine and a half centimetres, three, three and a half inches. Um, Thirteen centimetres, five inches that way. And four and a bit, eleven centimetres, something like that, in that direction. Um, so that's, I think, all I have for you for the moment. Um, I might find some more. Uh, oh, there was one more, let me just grab it. Okay, here's a couple more. Here's a jestery character. Now I'd say that's more or less 
finished. He needs a hat of some sort on there. There's no hair or anything at the back. Um, but obviously he's quite dusty. He needs a bit of a polish up, maybe a re touch of paint but in terms of carving he's most of the way there it's one that I keep been meaning to finish but uh, if someone buys him before I get round to finishing him off then so be it um, he is on his largest point which is his cheeks about seven and a half eight centimeters so just over three inches in width uh, four inches, ten centimetres tall and about nine and a half, ten centimetres deep and he's got a neck piece there so again go, go into the body you could fix that with a with um, some cord or rope or a, or a hook eye or something like that into there uh, so that would go in the category of 90-95% finished, as I say, just needs a hat making of some sort, and then you get yourself a nice jestery character. And then on the opposite end of the scale, of virtually nothing done to it at all, we've got a sort of chimp. It's going to be a chimp, or was going to be a chimp, or is going to be a chimp one day, if I ever get round to it. Um, two-piece head again so screwed through here which would need filling or plugging eventually but again probably I was going to put some moving eyes in there or blinking eyes or something like that in there for this one but the shapes there as you can see the shape is mostly there for a, a chimp nice sticky outy ears uh, no neck piece so you'd have to make a separate neck piece there uh, so what is it on the width there? Five inches, thirteen centimeters, something like that. Here to here. Um, just over four on the height, ten centimeters. Uh, let's check that. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Maybe eleven cent. Maybe four and a quarter. And front to back, eleven. So yeah, four and a quarter front to back. I've left these. It's got a flat back on there so you could clamp it or screw it down to the workbench for carving which would be quite useful and you, you know you wouldn't have to you wouldn't have to put a mechanism in there if you don't want to you can keep it as uh, keep it together and uh, you don't have to do anything fancy with it but uh, yeah so there's a sort of a blank for a, a chimp puppet or a monkey puppet of some sort and I think that is it for the moment. Oh, one last thing. I'm, we're just finishing up uh, building the Pinocchio puppet. So we're in the final stages of this. Uh, we're on to the painting and the and then making the controller and stringing up. So if you fancy having a go at building a Pinocchio, carved wooden Pinocchio, then head along to my Patreon page, which I'll also link to below. And you can come along and join in and carve yourself a wooden puppet.